Hi, and welcome to Yoga with Stacey Lee Turner. Today's session is all about twists. As always, listen to your body and modify as needed. I will offer options, and it's very important that you tune into what you need today. There's no judgment, there's no expectation. Just allow yourself to feel into your body and move with your breath. So let's begin. Come to a kneeling position or an easy cross-legged position if that feels better for you. And take a moment to close down your eyes. Begin to deepen your breath. Breathing deep from the base of your belly all the way to the top of your lungs and all the way back down again. Become aware of the skin on your face. Notice if you're clenching or scrunching up any parts of your face and allow them to soften. Maybe wriggle your eyebrows up and down. Maybe bring your awareness up to your forehead. Lift your eyes up towards your eyebrows, keeping your eyes closed. Allow a little smile to form on your face. A little shake of your head, letting go of anything you might be carrying in your neck. Maybe start to move your shoulders a little. And bring your hands to your heart. Take a big inhale and then we're going to chant OM together. Um. And gently blink open your eyes. Reach your arms up above your head as you inhale. As you exhale, rotate to your left, I'll mirror you. Reach your arm forward and back. Right hand to the outside of left knee. Left fingertips to the floor behind you. Take another inhale, breath to lengthen. As you exhale, maybe twist a little deeper and gaze over your back shoulder. One more breath here. As you inhale, come back to center, reach your arms above your head. As you exhale, take it over to the second side. Left hand outside of your right knee, right fingertips to the earth behind you. Inhale for length. Exhale, maybe deepen your twist. Listen to your body. One more time, keep drawing belly button towards lower back. Inhale back to center. And then lower your hands to the floor in front of you and come onto all fours. Stack your wrists under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. And just take a little movement here to feel into your body, your hips, your shoulders. And then start by floating your right arm to sky as you inhale. As you exhale, feed it through underneath your left and come to rest your right cheek onto the earth. You can stay here supporting yourself with fingertips or palm. And continue to breathe deep into your shoulders, into your neck, down through your spine, your hips, all the way to your feet. You might like to reach your left arm up to the sky Bend your elbow and reach it across to the opposite hip so that your left hand sits towards the crease of your right hip. And breathe into the twist. Inhale back to sky. Lower your palm and as you inhale, reach right arm back to sky and back to earth as you breathe out. Second side inhale. Left arm to sky as you exhale, left arm through underneath right arm, come to rest your left cheek onto the earth. Breathe here. Option to stay here with right hand supporting or inhale right hand to sky. Bend your elbow and reach your hand across towards your opposite hip. It might just rest on your lower back or it might find its way to your opposite hip and breathe open across your chest up towards the sky. 
One more breath here. Inhale, arm to sky. Exhale, hand to floor. Inhale, left arm sweeps back to sky and release to the earth. And then still with your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, curl your toes under, lift your hips high, and you're in your downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. You're welcome to pedal out your feet or you can come straight to stillness, whatever feels right for you today. And you can keep your feet where they are or you can step them a little closer towards your hands. You might need to bend your knees a little more and then reach your right hand across towards your left ankle and you can stay with your gaze down or if it feels good, you can start to look underneath your left armpit and continue to breathe deep. You might even straighten into your right leg and bend into your left or even vice versa. And just have a feel into what exploration feels good. As you continue to breathe, reach your right arm back out in front, change it over left side to right ankle. Maybe gazing under, maybe moving, bending into one knee and then the other. Or just finding that stillness and exploring the twist a little deeper. Release left hand back to floor. Start to walk your hands towards your feet at the back of your mat. Again, keep a bend in your knees. Allow your torso to rest onto your thighs as you relax your head down towards the floor. Again, take right hand to left ankle. This time, do straighten your left knee, bend into your right knee, and as you inhale, lengthen your spine from tail to crown and reach left fingertips to sky. And as you exhale, lower back down. Cross over, other side. Inhale, right arm to sky. Exhale to lower back down. One more time each side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swap. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow, Uttanasana, forward bend. Again, inhale, halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Roll up one vertebra at a time, rounding through your spine. Head and shoulders, last thing to arrive. I'm just gonna to turn to face you. You'll be standing in Tadasana, mountain pose, feet underneath your hips. Slight pigeon toe of your big toe, spin your inner thighs towards the back of the room. And keep your eyes closed down here. Palms face forward. Take a big inhale. Let it out through your mouth. And again in. Release. Inhale to sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, walk your hands along your mat until you find your way to the top of your plank. Lower your knees to the earth and then lower your body all the way down to the floor. Press the tops of your feet down into your mat. Roll your shoulder heads back and down. Firm your lower belly towards your lower back. As you inhale, baby cobra, press lightly into your hands, lift your head lower. Again, inhale, maybe stay there or rise a little higher if that feels good for your back. Any tenderness there, then just stay a little bit lower. Inhale one more time. Your cobra, and then exhale to lower back down. Firm your legs, press off your knees or your toes to tabletop or plank, and then lift your hips high to downward facing dog. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Inhale your right leg to the sky. As you exhale, bring it through towards knee to nose and then land it down at the top of the mat. Now, if it doesn't make it all the way, grab hold of your ankle 
give it a little assistance. Lower your back knee to the floor. Lengthen through your torso as you inhale. Sink your hips deeper as you exhale. Continue to hug your inner thighs towards one another. Activate through your pelvic floor. Another breath here. And then we twist. Left hand or left fingertips to the floor. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Take a breath or two here. Release your hand back down to the floor. Frame your front foot. Curl your back toes. Step back, downward facing dog. Couple of breaths here. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Step it through. Assistance if needed. Lower your back knee to the floor. Firm your legs. Lift your heart. Exhale, deepen. Another breath. Exhale. Take your hand out to the side. Reach your arm up to the sky. Release your hand back down. Frame your front foot. Step back, downward facing dog. Couple of breaths here. Again, inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, step it through. This time, option to keep your back knee raised rather than lower it, if you do prefer lower to the floor. Inhale, reach to sky. And then float your right arm down towards the back of your left leg and turn your gaze over your right shoulder, firm into your back leg. Focus on activation through your core. Inhale back to sky. Exhale lower. Step back. Option to lower your knees or keep them raised and then lower down to the floor. Inhale cobra. Exhale over your knees or toes. Hips high downward facing dog. Couple of breaths here. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Step it through. Option for back knee raised. Firm your legs. Firm your belly. Inhale, rise. Lead with your gaze. Land into the pose. Active legs. Active belly. Float left hand to the back of right knee. Lift your right fingertips. Expand your top hand. Maybe gaze over your back shoulder. And breathe from the pit of your belly, deep diaphragmatic breaths. Feel the energy move through your body. Inhale, back to sky. Exhale, hands down, step back, plank. Option for lowering of the knees. And then lower down half or all the way. Chaturanga for added challenge. Inhale, cobra. Or this time, upward facing dog, where you activate only from your hands and your feet connected to the floor and switch on everything else. And then press back over your knees or toes. Hips high, down dog. Take a couple of breaths here. And then lower your knees to the floor. Come to sit on your hips. Coming into a seated twist now, lengthen your right leg out in front of you, take your left leg over the top. Reach your left fingertips to the floor behind you and stretch your right arm up to the sky as you inhale. As you exhale, rotate. And hook your elbow to the outside of your knee. Now option to stay here, and if this does feel a bit awkward, you're welcome to pop something underneath your hips, a blanket or a pillow or a folded towel. Otherwise, 
If it's feeling quite open, you're welcome to bring that other leg underneath. Now, if this does send you too far to one side and tip you off of your sit bones, the base of your pelvis, then please do lengthen that leg back out. Inhale back to center. Take it over to your second side. Fingertips behind left arm to sky. Inhale, rotate as you exhale. Hook your elbow to the outside of your knee. A few breaths here. Option for the more deeper variation if you're feeling quite open today. And you might like to bring your thumb to your forefinger. Chin mudra. Mudra means hand gesture. And chin mudra is the hand gesture of increased awareness and consciousness. One more breath wherever you are. Inhale to return to center. And find either a cross-legged position or a kneeling position. You can take some time to sit here in stillness before you close your practice. Maybe have some music on or even lay down and come to Shavasana, which is dead man's pose to allow you a few quiet moments to integrate your practice. I'll for now finish with a chant of one om, but feel free to spend more time here if you do have that space in your day. The light within me sees and honors the light within you. Thank you for joining me today. If you did enjoy this practice, please feel free to give me a like or a comment and even share it with somebody else who might be interested. Thanks again and have a great rest of your day.